Musician feuds often get out of hand, and the seemingly unbothered Carlos Santana has found himself embroiled in a few. Here are the most famous musicians who just don't find Carlos Santana or his music very smooth. Both the most recognizable and least popular member of KISS, fire-breathing, blood-spewing, makeup-wearing bassist Gene Simmons has made a lot of enemies in the music world and beyond. About it. I was, oh, I was, really I was just joking because she's a comedian. Here, big sack on, it suits you. Thanks for the question. He's disparaged the likes of Axl Rose, Madonna, and N.W.A., but he's not the one who started a beef with Carlos Santana. Kiss concerts are a purposeful spectacle, with pyrotechnics, set pieces, and abundant theatrics. In 2005, Santana eviscerated Kiss's approach to performance, singling out Simmons in the process. Santana reportedly said, He's not a musician, he's an entertainer. Kiss is Las Vegas entertainment, so he wouldn't know what music is anyway. That's why he wears all that stuff. A musician doesn't need the mask or the mascara. There's a difference between an entertainer and a musician. Four years later, Simmons delivered a full response to Santana's criticism during an interview about a concert tour with Fox 5, a station from the also insulted Las Vegas. Simmons said, It's time for us to go out and show the little boys how the big boys do it. I'm sick and tired of these bands like Carlos Santana looking at his shoes and thinking that's a rock concert. Get off the stage. I'm Sheriff Dirty B. Hines. If you do the crime, you do the time. As a lead singer and primary instrumentalist for the dark, heavy, and experimental metal band Mastodon, Brett Hines understands other guitarists like Carlos Santana. He also has very specific tastes, and he isn't afraid to speak up about music industry figures he doesn't care for, even the seemingly untouchable ones. Hines has made his opinions known about musicians like rocker Dave Grohl, and he's not a big fan of Santana either. Hines doesn't necessarily hate Santana the band or Carlos Santana the person. Emphasizing the past tense verb, he told the AV Club, I loved Santana. Loved Santana. His iron distaste for the musician sits solely with Smooth, a pop collaboration for the 1999 album Supernatural, with Matchbox 20 singer Rob Thomas providing a vocal counterpart to Santana's lyrical guitar. The song spent 12 weeks at number one and won three Grammy Awards, including Song of the Year. When it came to Supernatural, Hines admitted, I don't hate Santana. I want to clarify that. I don't hate Santana at all. I just hate that he made this really horrible album. As for Smooth, Hines wouldn't mince words. His take? It's just like someone taking a carrot peeler and gouging it into your ears and skinning your ears. It's just ick. Just talking about it, I'm cringing. At the 2005 Academy Awards, Al Otro Lado Del Rio from the Motorcycle Diaries won the prize for Best Original Song. The South American Road Trip movie was based on the writings of revolutionary Che Guevara. And when Carlos Santana performed Al Otro Lado Del Rio at the Oscar ceremony, he did so while wearing a Guevara t-shirt as well as a crucifix necklace. Guevara was a prominent figure in the political movement that installed communism in Cuba in the late 1950s. The Cuban Revolution and its aftermath imprisoned thousands and killed as many as 141,000, including Christians whose religious belief didn't align with communism. Many Cubans hold Guevara responsible for the bloodshed, among them award-winning saxophonist and Latin jazz pioneer Guito de Rivera. Following the 2005 Oscars, de Rivera published an open letter directed at Santana. Translated from Spanish, it read, You showed your stupidity by appearing at the Oscar Awards proudly donning a large crucifix over a t-shirt with a stereotypical image of the butcher, which is how Che Guevara is known to Cubans who had to lamentably suffer under him at said prison. One of these Cubans was my cousin Bebo, incarcerated there precisely for being a Christian, the same one who always bitterly tells me how he could hear from his cell the firing squads at dawn. De Rivera also likened Santana's performance to, quote, a slap in the face to those young Cubans who in the 60s had to hide to be able to listen to your records. 